Um, I've had my September's Freya's Cauldron Spellkeeper's Chest come today. Um, so I decided to do another video of me opening the box and going through all the items and showing you them in more detail on the video. So now my house is quiet, everyone else is asleep and I'm the only one left awake so it's the best time to do it, that's why it's quite dark. So I've already taken out the bag that it comes in and it comes in one of these boxes. Like I said in the last video, there's always a lot of information that comes with the book uh, that comes with the boxes. So there's always the bits of paper that are on the top. Um, the first one is obviously everything that's in it, and she writes quite a lot for the items that she includes. So that's just obviously the content, why she's. Um, in Included certain items and obviously bits and pieces about them. Then you get your sheet for your herbs that are included in every box. Is always um, two herbs, and then if there's a third one, it's generally be for whichever holiday is coming up, or if there's um, a spell or something in the box, it's normally f would be used in that one. So this one has nettle and wormwood. And then it also has all like a lot of information. These are really good to keep and like in a separate folder, so they're great like references. Then this one has a witch's runes book, and then the information. So I think there might actually be a set of witch's runes in these box. And then there's a uh, spell book part one. So in in it, and there's the first paragraph explaining it. It says, over the years I have collected a great many spells and verses and also written a vast amount myself. I will be sharing some of my collection with you over the coming boxes. These are just ideas for you to use in your own work and do feel free to add anything you feel is right to the ones included here. Your instincts are your most powerful tool, use them wisely. And then there are different spells. So there's a forgiveness spell, a love spell, a wish spell, a friendship candle spell, a healing moon chant, spell to protect an object and a full moon letting go ceremony. Well, that actually looks really good and I'm actually looking forward to seeing what else actually she puts in them so these are sort of good starting blocks as well you can change them to fit your needs and what you would prefer. And then the first bit on the top is a poppet doll kit for protection. I've been getting these boxes for oh, well over a year now and um, I've had a poppet kit before actually but the last one I had was for healing so um, I didn't actually get around to using that I've still got it so I look forward to actually having the time to be able to do them this time there is normally the herb last time there was a herb that was needed for it and it was in the box yeah which is Pop it doll kit herbs for protection. Then under that is incense. That smells really nice. Uh, and it's just called spiritual guide, so I'm not exactly sure. Ah, oh, jasmine. That smells really good. Then there's obviously herbs, nettle and wormwood and these are quite big tops and these are good ways to build up like your herb cupboard instead of like having to buy loads so you get quite good sizes. <coughs> There's always oil included, so this one has fennel oil, and I love that she puts them all in Ziploc bags, so if any leak 
does it's not going to ruin anything else it literally would just leak into the bag and it saves the rest of your box if anything was ever to be wrong with the box she's very very quick at reply and she'll always get back to you like very quickly and send out a replacement then there is a pentagram pocket stone which is actually a little like metal coin with a pentagram on and there's information on the sheet that's with it <coughs> I think I'm actually getting a bit ill that was a great time to do a video then the stone is sardonyx if that's how you say it my pronunciation my pronunciation on stones isn't great. Um, I need to like watch videos of people actually saying the names. So if I ever get anything wrong, I, I apologise. And it's quite a good size stone. And on the piece of card inside, there'll be information for the stone as well. Ooh. Then a tiger's eye heart pendant in there with a and silver chain. I actually really like Tiger's Eye and I'm wearing it a lot at the minute. That's what I have on at the minute there. <coughs> you always get spell candles. Like a six and she always does them in pairs of colours. So you get three different colours. Um, a kitchen witch fridge magnet with a little black cat and <laughs> a dancing witch and cat for happy Halloween so I think I might actually decorate that with some paint or stain or something and make it a bit sparkly as well and hang it on my altar and then The last item is this box. Everything is always really well packaged, so um, all the items in the box are well padded out with packing peanuts, and even any items that come in boxes, she'll try and put in as much extra like padding as she can to stop anything from getting broken. And it is witchy stones. These are actually quite big. And I know that these have been hand painted, um, especially for these boxes. Um, I follow um, Freya's Cauldron on Facebook. And um, I'd seen a post earlier in the week where she had said that um, she'd had these hand painted. Um, and they'd been getting done throughout the week. So these were done just for these boxes. They're actually a really nice size and it's gold with the markings. I've actually made myself a set of um, witches stones and I made them with freeform pieces of smoky quartz and painted them on with like gold glass paint. Mine are actually quite small um, so you can hold like quite a lot of them in your hand and I did want a bigger set. So actually, I'm really happy um, with these. They've got like a really nice feel to them. And I love that they were, that I know that they were handmade, that they were done especially for this box. So they're not something that was um, like mass produced. I like things that are, sort of have more character to them because they've been sort of made and I know that someone has made them, which is generally why I try and make as much stuff as I can myself. There you go, that's it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I just want to add that um, I don't um, get these boxes for free. They're not like promo boxes. They're, um, I buy these boxes every month. I have done for, like I said, well over a year. Um, I think I've only ever missed one and that was because I had to cancel it that month because I just didn't have um, the money for any extras. Um, so I actually do buy these boxes for myself. Um, so if you have any questions then just post them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Um, my kids are now going back to school and nursery so I'll have more time to get back to um, any questions that people have or um, any like anything you want to know in general. These boxes are, I only know what the UK price is which is £25 um, for the month and that includes the postage and they're actually sent recorded delivery. Um, most boxes are actually just sent standard whereas these are sent recorded delivery. Um, so there is a tracking number. She doesn't send them out with every box, but obviously if you don't get them after a few days, she'll always say to contact her and she'll give you the tracking number to keep an eye on it. And then obviously if it doesn't turn up, she sends out a replacement quite quickly. So she's very good with it. Um, I'm to think. So the Facebook page is a really good one to follow. Um, because Freya's Cauldron is actually from a shop, um, she has her own shop, um, she's on eBay and she has a web page. Um, if anything gets, like if anything is slightly damaged or she reduces anything, she puts it on a Facebook page in a post so you'll see that it's been reduced. And generally when she reduces stuff, it's reduced by quite a lot. So I follow on Facebook so whenever something gets reduced, I'm straight on a website and I'll generally buy it. Um, I, I really do like rate these boxes quite highly um, it's one of the few boxes that I have continuously got for a very long period of time um, the amount of information and sort of stuff that you get that will build your stock is um, it, it's an easier way to do it rather than trying to get it all yourself you can slowly build up sort of like stacks of information, build up your herbs and things. Hmm. So yeah, um, I'll do another video next month with the one that I get next month, which will be the Soween one, which I'm very excited to see what will be in that one. And um, yeah.